Hello everyone. This is November the 3rd, 2022. The time is 12 noon and the temperature has just reached 8 degrees. It was started out at about 3 this morning but it's about 8 now so it's not too bad. And today we are here at the gates of the St. Mary's University right here. So, I have never, ever covered the St. Mary's University before. So I'm gonna walk in here. It's not a super big campus, but we'll walk in here and have a look around. St. Mary's University. Okay, there's an overall picture of the campus right there. It is bounded by Roby Street on the west. Oops, Roby, Roby Street's on the north and Tower Road is on the south. English would be on the east and Gorse Brook would be on the west. There, all right. Oh, we have a beautiful day out here. Great day for a video and a great day to look around St. Mary's University. The Language Center, St. Mary's University Language Center. Okay. We will go through here. This is just a parking lot here. So We'll see what else we got over here once we get through this parking lot. A little bit windy on this side, so I gotta try to shield my microphone a little bit. There we go. So, my friend Jenny, I hope you're gonna enjoy this video. She used to work down here at this at this uh, university and moved to Ontario, so she just nice to give her some uh, pictures of the old place where she used to be. So, all right, that's great. This is, um, it's a small campus compared to Dalhousie. Dalhousie is much, much bigger campus than, than this one. I came down here quite a while ago and I ran into a friend of mine and we stood on the corner and talked for about an hour. So, oh, that's how life goes, right? You always got to make time for friends. Unless you're in a terrible hurry and I wasn't in that big of a hurry, so. I just will go up here and we'll go all the way up to and there's another walkway down on the other side we can do that the trees are sure getting bare now not many leaves left well some of the trees got some some of them not so good This is the first time being on this campus. I've been on the Dalhousie campus a few times, but this is the very first time I've come in here. It's a nice little campus. It's a little bigger than it looked when I first got here. Very old trees here for sure. 
That looks like the cafeteria right there, I think. I think that's the cafeteria in there. Well, this ought to be a... Should be able to cover the whole thing in here today. Because it's not like, not like going to Dalhousie. You can only do about half of it in one video, maybe not even half, because it's so big. There's the Burke building. I'm not sure what it is, but there's the atrium at 5940 English Street, the atrium. Oh yeah, we'll go right around down the other side. Never notice, some trees are almost bare. And then the one right beside it's got like a tons of leaves on it. So I don't figure it, does it? Yes, that's the student center over there. It's got a food court. It's not exactly a, a like like one thing, it's a it's a food court with different different uh, companies in there. So I just saw the sign there now. O'Donnell Hennessy Student Center, student services, food court, bookstore, and a support for students with disabilities office. Okay. And I take it this is a residence over here, this tall, tall building that looks like an apartment building. That's a, a residence for students. And this looks like an old church. I guess it's a church. I don't know what it is now, but it was a church at one time. Well, let's continue on over here and see what, see what it's over here. It looks like a church. It has a cross up on the top. It looks like a church. It must be a church. This would be the end of the, the end of the campus right here. This little area where I'm going to turn around will be the last of the campus up in this end, and we'll go down to the other side. Mm. Receiving door that could be a kitchen area in there. More than likely, since it's got a receiving door, it may not be. Well, it's finally getting a little bit warmer now. It was, it was chilly this morning. I put on my heavier jacket first time this year. I put on a heavy jacket because it was, it was too cold for my denim jacket. All right, we go. We'll go back down this side. And I see they've got a track here for people who are into track and field and stuff like that. Train. And it looks like a football football field, I think. That's what it is, football field. Let's hope I don't get chased away here. Right? Probably no one. Nope, they didn't say anything. Sometimes the security people, they get overzealous and, and they chase people out who's making videos, but they didn't say anything, so that's good. <coughs> yeah, that looks like a football field, I think, right there. Whoops, I'm getting out of focus here. There we go. Wonder how you pronounce that, Gorsebrook? Gorsebrook? Gorsebrook, the Gorsebrook. 
guess that's what they call that, the Gorse Brook, if I'm pronouncing it right. G-O-R-S-E-B-R-O-K, it must be Gorse Brook. Wow, we get a nice look at that football field now and the tr running track. Oh, that's great, eh? Let's walk right over and I'll put my phone up over the top of the fence and get a better look. Good look at that track. Well, let's see. We could go down to this way, I suppose, since it's not the way we came in. We want to try to see as much of this place as I can. So we'll go this way, see what's down here. St. Mary's University. It looks like two residences, one there, and there's another one right over there. Bit of a walkway between these two buildings, I guess so, when it's raining, or Hold out, you don't have to go to the elements. I guess that's the slogan here, world without limits. You see that sign all over the place here, world without limits. Good slogan, I guess, yeah. Don't limit ourselves, just say, we can, just like the sign says. Yes, we can. Don't limit ourselves. What well, we don't think we can do that. Maybe we can do that. Mm -hmm. We can. I guess first you have to say maybe I can, maybe I can. And then after you try it, you say we can. Well, that was our little tour through the St. Mary's University campus. I think I've seen it all. It's not a super big campus, but it looked like it was pretty much it. It was still still good size campus in here. It, I, but I think we've covered it all now. And um, yes, I say I say we did. Yeah, I guess it's not as big as. Dalhousie, but it's still a nice campus. That's just a public school over there. Halifax Grammar School. That looks like that was the first part. And then they built that end on it and, and maybe that piece at the same time. Well, the afternoon's going to be nice anyways. It was chilly this morning, but... It's starting to warm up quite a bit now. And How long? That didn't take very long <laughs> to do that tour. I've only been 15 minutes in there. But that's all right. All my videos don't have to be an hour long. I can have them short. You can't make them any longer when there's nothing more to cover. So you, you know, like 15 minutes, I walked around in there. And I think I showed everything. The Language Center, 960. Um, I make sure of my street here before I say it. 
I was going to say English, but it might be, might not be. This is the first time I've walked on this campus. I may have walked through this intersection, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure, but definitely the first time on the campus. So there you have it, St. Mary's University. Okay, so I gotta sign off here somewhere. I usually try to get something good in the background when I sign off. So I'll go right here by this pole and we will point it towards the gate. There we go. All right, so if you enjoyed this little video, you can push that thumbs up. Maybe you're a student that was here before or you're planning to come here and you want to see what it's like. Anyways, if you liked it, then give it a thumbs up, that'd be great. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I'd really love it if you become a subscriber. That would help me so much. And if you are a subscriber, my thanks to you for subscribing. And uh, we always make nothing but top quality videos. Uh, so <laughs> that was a joke. Sometimes it might be quality and it might not be. But I try anyway. I try to make them top quality. So anyway, with that, I say take care, be safe, and until the next time, bye for now.